Uh, welcome back to another video, um, and I know this is a very late review, and I've beaten this game like a long time ago. I think it's been like two or three months now since I finished one of the best games that I've ever played on my entire channel, God of War. Now, the review should have came like uh, right after I beat it, but then I, you know, I lost interest for a lot of time, but then I didn't return to um, uh, game reviews until after I beat Last of Us. Now I'm returning to the game because I just I was just playing a little bit of Witcher and the game really reminded me of God of War. I can't review Witcher just yet um, because I haven't beaten it yet. And I'm not even close to beating it yet. But uh, anyways, God of War, a PS4 exclusive. Uh, sorry, Xbox fans. Um, I don't know which installment this is of the God of War franchise. They've made so many. They've made like four like sequels in total. And, like, a, a, a sp some spin-offs, I think, too. But, if you guys don't know what God of War is, God of War is about this uh, god named Kratos, and he hates gods. Like, he, he he's killed them all already. Um, I don't think he's killed Thor yet, though, but they, they said that he's going to fight Thor in the next game. Which, to be honest, I'm not sure if I want to get the next game. I mean, this game was just perfect. So perfect, I'm not sure it needs another game. Um, after a while, it will need one, though, you know? Um, but the story of this game is really what stands out more than anything. Um, you know, uh, like, in the actual, you know, um, playable stuff, you know, like the combos and stuff, side quests, collectibles, there's a lot of stuff you can uh, do that's very fun in this game. But they're also, the main thing I think is the story that stands out the strongest. Um, you have to like, um, you know, um, okay, so before, before Kratos had his son, he was just kind of a cold-hearted killer who didn't really care about anybody. Now he has someone who he loves and he needs to protect and look up to. So he can't just keep killing, like, everybody. I mean... He, of course, he has to defend uh, himself and his son against monsters. Well, he does train his son to fight because uh, eventually he will take his place as the god of war. Um, so, but he doesn't want to, you know, um, eventually, like in this game, you know, there was a scene where Andreas found out that um, Kratos uh, killed his own father, Zeus. Um, and Andreas was a little... Uh, was a little upset because, you know, he killed his own father, so how does he know he may not kill his own son? Um, so that's when, you know, him and his, uh, uh, Kratos and him, you know, they have a little bit of a talk, you know, uh, it's very inspiring, you know? He looks into his face and he says, look, listen, son, what I was is not what you will become. Let's finish this journey while I still have strength. I swear, man. Some of these games I play just feel like a movie, man, which is good because they they're just amazing. And if they ever adapted God of War into a movie, um, let's I mean, there's a there's all those cursed movies out there, you know. Some sometimes they succeed, like with the Sonic movie and the Detective Pikachu movie. Now I didn't like the Detective De the Detective Pikachu movie that much, but I think it's mainly because I'm not a Pokemon fan. If I was, I probably would have loved it, but it's still a little enjoyable, you know. Um. But The Witcher has broken the curse. I mean, because it's a TV series. And uh, we're getting a Last of Us TV series. And they want to get an Uncharted movie next year. So I feel like God of War might be next. First of all, if they do uh, uh, make a God of War movie, Jason Momoa has to be who they cast as Kratos. He has to be. I even saw some fan art where he was. He looks amazing. I mean, yes, he does have long flowing hair, and what is Kratos? Bald. Well, you could just CGI all that hair out of there. I know you guys are probably going to get some Justice League mustache vibes, but that's because they just were rushing it. They didn't put enough time in it. And to be honest, it's not that hard to remove hair, facial hair. Um, so let's see, James McAvoy. He actually has hair in real life, but they had to remove his hair for... Uh, Professor X in X-Men Apocalypse and Dark Phoenix. He didn't look too bad. So yeah, they can easily do the same with Jason Momoa, right? So, um, going back to the story. The story, like, this whole game purpose, the adventure purpose, is to avenge uh, their mother, uh, uh, the mother's death. 
Andreas' mother's death. And um, they want to do it because her last wishes were all this stuff, like right before she died. And, you know, she really means a lot to these two. Um, and they run into some other folks along the way, like a, uh, like a satyr whose head you have to cut off and turn and uh, bring back to life. And a few satyrs, you know. I mean, uh, satyr? I just said a satyr. Dwarfs, I meant, you know. Uh, you know, like Sidrus and Brock. And the boss battles in this game are just intense and fun. I fought in them before. I got sweaty. I got sweaty, man, fighting these bosses. They are just awesome. You know, like the dragon, uh, Baldor, the two brothers, which I died the most against. I think that... In fact, I think that's actually the first time I even died in this game whenever I fought those two because they were pretty tough. Um, you know, um, I did get enraged a lot because they were assholes, but yeah, I did beat the shit out of them, though. Um, you can check out my God of War playlist on this channel if you want to see me do gameplay on it. Anyways, amazing game. Masterpiece. In which case, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 rating. Um... Probably the best PS4, PS4 exclusive. I can't, I can't even decide anymore between Last of Us, this, and Spider Man. I have no idea, man. I just really have no clue anymore. But yeah, if you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.